हेलो व्यूअर्स और वेलकम टू एम जी एम स्टूडियो एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अनदर वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट विच मे बी आई ओपनिंग फॉर मेनी पीपल डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली इट विल गिव सम टाइप ऑफ यू नो स्टेट ऑफ माइंड टू बी कंट्रोल्ड एंड अलाउ यू टू मेक राइट थिंग्स इन राइट डिरेक्शन Yes, this is important for almost all the categories of the people. You say that of the students, teachers, uh, businessman, and uh, any common man or woman, no matter. This is a common concept, often asked by the people. So it's really, really important. After my last video, that was how to control mind. Some questions crop up in the mind of the people. when i said them that the thought that comes from various areas and you know the traffic in the brain or the mind creates a problem in them as a result of which they are being disturbed some of them asked me sir how this thought occurs and how this thought disturbs and how can we stop it this is very interesting question has been asked by someone one of the uh, viewer has requested me to have another video relating to the thought process as you know mind is a machine whose duty is only to produce thoughts so we have to discover yes we have to discover the main source the source where the thought comes out and how the second thing is then arises how to stop it or reduce it two things stop it or reduce it stopping is not a easy task but reducing is possible yes it's possible but you must have a determination if you will decide to make it you can make it you can make it once you met you will be different from others your journey of life will go from man to superman yes woman to superwoman it is possible it's in your hand yes it is in your hand so let us begin the topic here i want to say you one thing how to control and manage the thought how to control and manage the thought so always you try to go to the source where from these thoughts comes to us am i right where from these th- see some thoughts comes all of a sudden some thoughts comes all of a sudden and you never expect that this will happen and this thought will come and i have to face it yeah it's ra- quite surprisingly this happens with everyone with me with you and all whoever he may be how very rich he may be how very intelligent he may be do you understand or he or she used to puzzle all of a sudden such thoughts attacks us sometimes right so let us have the thought about this is let us think about the cause catch the cause you will find the remedies catch the cause you will find the remedies so the main cause of this thought process or thought breeding is one that is one the human wants are unlimited due to this aspect we all people are suffering from heavy traffic of the thoughts inside our mind yes and unnecessary desires it breeds unnecessary desires uncountable desires this desire is the main cause of our worry and tension depression we want to get it so we are suffering now the question is how can we avoid this and how can we lead a better and peaceful life yes this is this is very very important thing one and all must 
think. First of all, avoid the useless desires. Some desires are useful, I am not telling them to avoid. Some are but useless. You see, our people, we know that we can never, we can never be the Bill Get or Mukesh Ambani like that. Or we can never be like, you know, uh, Sankaracharya or Swami Vivekananda. Why shall we dream these things? And why shall we unnecessarily invite trouble and disturb our mind? The truth is known to you also. But still you are trapped by these thoughts. And the thought traps you and you are being ready to suffer. Am I right? I am absolutely right. This is happening with innumerable people. Yeah. Yes. So now the question is, how, see, let us think about the source. What are the source? From which sources these thoughts comes? And how do these thoughts changes? This is because of our mind. Our mind never sit silent. Our mind never sit silent. Yes, you know this. It's the nature that it breathes the thought and breathes the thought, then it converts into action. When it converts into action, then comes the problem. And this is the law of the nature. If knowledge will come, it will force you to do something. If you have done something, result is ahead. No one can es escape from this. No one can escape. I am sure. Yes, I am sure. See, the next thing is, thought comes to us from two ways. Two sources are there. One is the internal source and another is the external source. Internal and external. Internal thought comes from your imagination, from your thinking of making of your, you know, future. For example, if a person has passed his HSC, then he will be thinking about whether I will go to art stream, science stream, commerce stream, diploma or this or that and all these things. So, he breeds his internal thoughts right there. Similarly, if a person is going to start a business, he will be thinking about and thinking about whether it will be profitable or there is a loss or there are so many hurdles here and what to do, what not to do. Many thoughts will come to him. Right? This is internal. But to that student who is thinking about choosing a line after HSC or 10th class, external sources will put pressure on him. This is a big problem. No doubt. He makes his line fixed, but other people will interfere. They will say, don't you read this, you go to science, don't do science, you go to diploma, don't do diploma, IK is better. In this way, different ideas and thoughts from external source when enter into the brain, then there comes the disturbances. So here is the problem. The second ground I am telling you how the thought automatically comes and disturbs our brain. So the three points here, person, place and time as well as circumstance, four things, right? Person, place, think and uh, time, circumstance. Five became now, I was thinking about four, it is five. So when you meet people, thought comes, feel it. When you meet people, Thought comes. Feel it. When you meet some good people, good thoughts may come. When you meet bad people, bad thought will come. Therefore, avoid negative attitude people to be free from their, you know, vibes. They will definitely affect your electromagnetic waves of the brain, that is the mind, and then you may be puzzled. You may be confused, you may be in trouble, it's very difficult to come out of it. So this is the thing. Similarly, when you change the place, your thought again changes. Suppose you are inside the temple now, you have a good thought. You thought about God, devotion, praying and getting something positive attitude and all things. When you change your place to battlefield, you will be furious. You will feel yourself as a soldier. Similarly, when you change the place again, go to the graveyard, 
yes, permission ground, you will be having a different thought. Do you understand? So, when place changes, thought changes. When person changes, thought changes. When you observe a thing, you get a thought again. Suppose you are going to a shop, you will observe four or five things, then thought will come. Shall I buy or not? Is it good or not? If you don't see the thing, the thought will not come. So, immediately you are in present in, in, in a present state, you are having a thought, but soon you see a thing. Suppose a beautiful girl is going by, you seen, or a beautiful thing moving on your eyes, you have seen, immediately your thought will jump. Uh, you have to catch and watch the thought and check and maintain the balance so that you can to some extent come out of this you confuse them right okay now time and circumstances are the two great factors which is not under our control and this will this plays a very very important role in changing our thought process changing our thought process mind it today morning you are at a fresh air and your thought is something different, in the afternoon the thought will change due to some internal factors or some external factors and evening you will be different. I don't know, in the night you may be having some other thought. Thought changes time to time. According to the person, place, time, situation you are passing through. If you know this, you can set a barrier on thought. And you can check the thought traffic in your brain. This is very important thing. Everyone, irrespective of their age, know this and apply this and try to watch the thought, catch the thought, balance the thought, think what is urgent, do that, rest all postpone. I believe in this and I do this. And I also expect all my viewers to do this, to have a better, nice, and peaceful life and desires that don't have any end, you know. Premature delivers. What is desire? Premature delivers. Do you want this? Premature deliver? Know the consequence of this. How effective in our life. So I want to say, whenever you come across a person, check and balance. Whenever come to a place, person, time, circumstances, study properly. For studying properly, you must be conscious and you must be cool, very cool enough to know the things. Right? And this thought, so my, my last point to tell you for change in your life is only one thing. Learn, learn, watching the thoughts. Ha, watching the thought how thought comes, where from it comes, how it effect, can I check them or not, how can I check. This is very important thing. Everybody should do this. Please make this practice for 10 or 15 days and feel really when thought comes, yeah, it came, let us see what is happening, oh, can I check or not, think about this. Have a practice. Uninterrupted practice, uninterrupted practice you have to make. I would also like to request you that this is a very serious and very secret thing actually, you know, who we are discussing. In the sense that people already see the visible things, thoughts are very invisible, but it is very, it, it is very effective. It is known to those people who felt it, others just hear and forget. But you take it serious. You take it serious, you will sign, you will get peace. You can lead a happy life in your, in future. There will be no problem to you. We all know that mistakes are syllabus. Still, we are making mistakes. This should not happen with us. We have to learn something out of every experience we pass through in our life. Am I right? I think I am absolutely right. We should learn something from every experience. And in our lifetime, checking thought, managing thought, controlling thought, Implementation of thought are some of the big concepts we have to think very seriously. Yes, very seriously. Thank you very much for spending some time with me.
and for listening my words in such a patience. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best.